here I am in Ventura, more or less downtown, I suppose. I'm gonna go head down to the beach and play some ukulele and think about my life. There it is, the Pacific Ocean. Oh, it's glory. This is called Surfer's Point, I guess. And you can see why. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's just find a place to sit over here. Maybe right by the water, maybe not. All these rocks over here look kind of nice. If a little bit wet. I've never really been much of a beach person, but there's definitely something about it. Some cities just feel like you're you're walking through streets and you're looking at stores and houses and things. And then some cities feel like this is a real place. Like, I don't know what the history of Ventura is. I don't really need to, because I'm here and I can feel that this place is kind of special. There's, there's places like that around. I am not a real fan of walking around trying to find a spot to sleep after dark, but it just stopped raining and it's like 8.30. So now it's time to go see what I can find. I saw some people in an area by the highway um, earlier today, so I think that's where I'm going to go check first if there's some free space over there at least I could set up a tent or something so um, yeah I'm just gonna go down there and then in the morning I'm gonna try and spend as much time as possible hitchhiking uh, if I can get to Santa Barbara by the end of tomorrow that would be great all right I'm here I'm on the on-ramp and I made a sign this on-ramp does not seem very busy to be honest with you um, but that's okay. There's another one a little further up, but I'm going to spend some time here just in case. So you never really know. There's some, there's a guy right there. So there's some people getting on here, but, uh, not that many. And there's not a great place for them to stop. So I don't think I'm going to stick around here too, too long, but I'll give it a shot. I might even go across the street to this gas station, try and sit outside there and See if anybody would be willing to give me a ride, but uh, see what happens. Well, I guess the thing is here, <clears throat> this on-ramp is down by the beach, um, whereas if I go up this way, this on-ramp comes off a of main street. So I kind of wonder if that one might be a little bit busier. It's 9.30 right now. I don't know. I do kind of feel like this one's not going to work out, to be honest. There we go. I'd say that's a little more like it. And I think this is where I'm going to be for the next few hours. Alright, well, just as I was beginning to think about where I was going to sleep tonight in Ventura, I finally got a ride. So, now I am in Santa Barbara. And I'm going to try and just walk along the beach, see if there's anywhere somewhere that looks like I could set up a tent and not get kicked out. But, uh, but yeah, we'll see about that. I hate getting places late. 
but I also hate waking up early so I could get to places earlier. So that's kind of the issue. But I was out there all day today. I can't really beat myself up too much about that. I only took a little, maybe like hour and a half, two hour break for lunch. The rest of the day I was out there. So, yep. So yeah, I'd say Santa Barbara, at least so far, is about the classiest place I've ever been. I mean, this is downtown, downtown, so obviously this is going to be a little classier than other places, but even then, I've been to a lot of downtowns that didn't look this nice. And sit, sat next to the Museum of Art here. There's just shops everywhere and little courtyards and stuff. Like, I think all these blocks right here are built around courtyards which is awesome. More cities need to do that. And then just obviously the building itself is crazy. Look at that. So yeah, I'm excited to see more of Santa Barbara. People seem friendly, it seems clean, and very cool. So now I'm doing some scouting because I don't want another situation like Ventura. Not that that turned out that bad, but I just don't want to have to deal with that anymore. So this looks easy to get into, but is it easy to set up camp in? Is it uh, too obvious maybe? It's pretty obvious. Up ahead here, there's a uh, train tracks that intersect the road here. So kind of wondering if that might be an option and that there is what I was looking for more or less that's the California special right there I know they do it everywhere but you know every fence in California has a hole in it that's the truth even in Santa Barbara I think over here it actually starts to get a little bit more tempting because the uh, contour of this ditch um, makes a little blind spot people down here are looking up people on the highway are looking down what's up uh yeah sure I got flagged down by a dude who wanted a light I took a cigarette off of him even though I don't really smoke but sometimes you just uh, you know just do stuff because it's polite I'm going to throw that away now. I guess I'll go back and make sure it's out. There we go. don't want people accusing me of starting forest fires. Yeah, I see some signs here. This looks like the place. Just have to make sure there's nobody else around where I want to be. This looks like a, a well-worn path, so I'd imagine there's people here. Well, I don't see nobody right now, but there's definitely things. Go back over here. Go back over there. Probably across the street, there's some hole in this fence again. Yeah, I think I see it over there. Okay, I think this is kind of the spot. Can you read it? Not really. So, at some point about a year ago, I uh, saw a post on Instagram that had some beautiful 
a beautiful canyon with some palm trees and a waterfall and I was like oh that looks cool and I looked up the location and I bookmarked it and that location is Seven Falls just north of Santa Barbara so I figured since that's been bookmarked on my phone for so long and I'm so close I really have to stop by um, so that's what I'm gonna try and do today uh, I can't get a bus that goes all the way up to the trailhead so I'm gonna have to just get as close as I can and it's about a like two two and a half mile hike um, up these pretty steep mountains you know, so I know I can do two, two and a half miles easily, you know, on five for the round trip. Um, but I've never done it <laughs> on that kind of terrain. So five miles doesn't seem like a whole lot, but it might end up being too much. I don't know. I think I'm going to bring a little bit of food with me and just see what happens. Maybe I'll have to try and find somewhere to sleep overnight. I don't know how easy that'll be, but we'll see. One interesting thing I've noticed about Santa Barbara is that it appears to be like 90% residential. There's these little pockets of uh, commercial stuff, stores and whatnot, uh, but even those seem to be pretty limited. Like, I haven't seen any giant Walmarts or, you know, Best Buy or anything. Just kind of small stuff. It's interesting. I, I think the, uh, the city must have a lot of say over what gets built where. Because everything's built to what appears to me to be a pretty strict code. With all that said about there being a strict code and stuff, I gotta wonder why the hell they chose that font for their street signs. Alright, so it is 4 o'clock. The, um, the sun has been setting around 5 lately. So I think um, I need to think about finding a place to sleep and then getting up to Seven Falls tomorrow. Um, and I think my best bet is going to be in this little canyon here, Mission Creek, Mission Canyon. Um, but I just got to make sure that I'm, you know, properly hidden and stuff. Because this here looks to be a foot trail of some sort. So, you know, hopefully if I can get a little bit off of that, I'll be uh, safe. And then there's also stuff up here maybe but it's a little bit crowded I don't know if I can even get down there yeah so as it turns out this is like a very busy park um, so this is not gonna work out so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go a little further south and uh, just see what's around gotta find something running out of daylight here uh, well last night I slept in about the worst spot I've slept in in a long time um, but I made it I guess so uh, today's the day this is why I don't uh, go on hikes that much because <laughs> it always turns into a fucking ordeal uh, you know for a normal person they have a car they would just drive up to the trailhead and then it's like a one and a half mile hike you know, with no weight on their back, probably. You know, you don't even have to bring a backpack if you don't want to. For me, I'm lugging this freaking... I don't know how much it weighs. Like 50, 60 pounds, maybe. I don't even know if that's accurate. But right now it's pretty heavy because it's got water and food and everything in it. But I'm lugging this pack up. The, and I'm walking like like five miles just to get to the place. And then i got to walk another five back, pretty much. Um, from right here, it's like three miles, I want to say. And it's up a steep slope and everything and like you know i don't have a place to sleep nearby so i gotta like get in and get out <laughs> it's more trouble than it's worth but i said that when i if i was ever in santa barbara i was gonna go do this hike so that's what i'm doing
Alright, I finally made it to the trailhead. And I'm exhausted like I just did the whole trail. This is why I don't do this shit normally. But I said that I was gonna. So I'm doing it. I can only hope that I end up back somewhere comfortable tonight where I can actually relax and have a good night's sleep. But for right now, I got another, what, mile and a half or something. Once I recover. All right, I left the, uh, the pack back by the trailhead. Uh, it's just me and a uh, jug of water. And got a little ways to go. I don't really know like how to get to Seven Falls exactly because there's a bunch of trails around here. But you know, should be fine. I doubt there's any water running in it right now hasn't rained in like a week or two but it's still fine it's still a good hike oh boy what a view Oh man, that last fucking leg was brutal. And I think if I wanted to go to Seven Falls, I'm going further this way. But I don't know exactly how to get there. I don't think this path goes that way. Maybe there is a split off earlier. I see. So, I've ended up up here. But where I wanted to be was down here. So there's a turn off way down. I probably didn't need to go up that whole steep hill, did I? I guess this whole hill right here I did for no reason. Because somehow I'm supposed to go down there. <laughs> it's got all this loose gravel on it and shit. It's so steep. I know things like that don't tend to come across well on camera, but this is about the steepest hill I've ever climbed, especially on a trail like this. I'm a bit off the beaten track now, but apparently if I just keep following this uh, creek bed, that's what's going to get me there. So that's what we're doing. Doesn't look like it's going to be any easier. So yeah, there's basically no trail here. I'm just clambering over some rocks. I mean, this is kind of a trail, I guess. But it's not like, this is not a casual hike. This is, uh, you're having to make some maneuvers to get back here. I think this might be it right here. I mean, just up ahead at least. Once I get up these last two cliffs, I doubt we're going to see a real payoff here because, like I said, the falls are not running right now. And there's some moisture on these rocks. That's good, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just like fucking, I'm right there, so I got to keep going. So there was two falls back this way. There's number three. I kind of thought that the seven falls referred to falls that were coming down from these mountains, but it might actually just be the number of falls coming down this way. I guess we'll find out. 
I guess I'm going up the side of this hill here. Yeah, this is not a uh, not a hike for the faint of heart. Four, five, six, seven. I'm pretty sure that's the seven poles right there. And this is about as far as I'm getting. Be real with you. I mean, I don't even know if it's possible to get over to these last few, but it's enough of a scramble to get right here. And that's pretty much it for me. Let me come down to the uh, slightly flatter area. I can hear some people on the trail up above. But I know for a fact there's nobody else over here. It's, uh, you know, I don't know, if you're like a seasoned hiker, maybe this isn't that crazy of a, a route, but for me, I'd say it was a pretty good accomplishment. Now the hard part's getting back down. Yeah, I think if I had come here when it was actually flowing, this might have been even harder. I probably wouldn't have been able to get up to all this. All this area was kind of flooded and stuff. So maybe it's good that it worked out the way it did. Oh man, it's uh, 1.30. 1.30, so I've got about three and a half hours to get back down to the base, catch a bus back to my comfortable sleeping spot, and uh, yeah, there's no way I'm settling. This does get pretty deep right here, doesn't it? You can see all the uh, rocks down there. I don't know how well it comes across on camera, but... That's pretty deep. All right, back with all my shit on. Well, most of my shit. I realized that uh, I'm not sure where I set my um, fanny bag. So that could be an issue. I'm thinking I set it somewhere around here on the side of the road. If not, I, mean, I only stopped once on the trail really so I'm not sure where else it would be so hopefully I didn't lose all that that would really suck all right well this is the bottom of the hill I've been checking the side of the road everywhere where I stopped just to see if it's not here then it's gone Reviewing the footage later, it turns out that I definitely had the fanny pack when I started on the trail. So there's only one place I could have left it, and that's on the steep section uh, where I took a wrong turn. And that must be where it is today. There's nothing in there that I can't replace, but it is going to be a little annoying. I'm back downtown, I'm going to go to the library and charge some stuff up. I just got to... I just got to say this, downtown is freaking beautiful. Downtown Santa Barbara, highly recommend and visit it. Alright, well, I have uh, purchased new charging cables and a uh, plug and, um, and new headphones. So that's kind of the most important stuff. But I'm, I already am starting to realize all the shit that I had in there that I'm going to have to replace. Like my, uh, my fork and my spoon. That's one you don't think about until you don't have it anymore. And also just the pack itself is going to be a little difficult to replace. I got it at a Target a long time ago. I looked at this Target that I'm nearby right now and it, they didn't have it. Um, but either way, I just spent most of the day today, pretty much all day today, um, charging all my stuff up at the library. 
And now I think it is probably about time to say goodbye to Santa Barbara. It's been great. It's been a good time. Lots of good stuff to see here. Um, but it's just time to move on. So that's probably what I'll be doing tomorrow. I might... I don't know. I don't think there's really anything else to do here. I'll just uh, sleep in the same place tonight for like the fourth time or whatever. And uh, get out in the morning. Hopefully get up to, uh, I don't even know what the name of the next place I want to be at is, but uh, up north a little bit further. I went up and took a look at that northern route and it ended up not looking that great. So uh, instead I decided to go on 101 the whole way. Unfortunately, since that big day of hiking, my uh, knee and my ankles have been feeling a lot worse. So I seem to have done a little bit of damage there. That big day of hiking out of nowhere. Um, but wouldn't you know it, I got a big day walking ahead of me today too. So I'm just going to push through it and try not to let it get too bad. Alright, well this looks like a perfect hitchhiking spot. Plenty of room on the sides. The no pedestrian sign is way up there, so I'm not breaking the law or anything. I've got some uh, coffee and stuff to drink, so maybe I'll come over here and eat that first. But Now I'm trying to get over to... Um, I'm not trying to get all the way down the road right now, although I could if somebody happened to be going that way. The uh, place I'm trying to get to is just this big shopping center on the other side of uh, whatever this town's name is. I really need to be like memorizing these names, but this is a town that's just like right directly connected to Santa Barbara. Um, there's a bigger sort of shopping center over there with a Target and stuff. I'm starting to really, you know, the more time I spend without all my uh, fanny pack and all the stuff that was inside of it, the more uh, I start to realize how important that stuff was. Um, it was really uh, careless of me to lose that. I don't know how that happened. Still don't really know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess if somebody was going far, far enough, then uh, I could probably do that. The problem is there's a lot of small towns um, along the road from here. So I kind of do want to get to like a big-ish shopping center first so I can try and replace, at least replace the bag itself, you know, and then I can slowly replace the stuff that was inside of it. Um, at least I've got enough money to do all that, so I have to, you know, Thanksgiving was a couple days ago, I have to just give thanks for that. You know, in and out. It's honestly not my favorite fast food. I think it's pretty overrated. But I gotta say, 857 is about as cheap as you're gonna get a burger and fries anywhere. So they got that going for them. I ended up taking a bus out to the western edge to that shopping center that I was talking about. All right, well, here's the, uh, the on-ramp. It's uh, not ideal. But there is enough space for people to pull over, so it's possible. Just gotta catch the right person. Yeah, there's like, there there's not even anybody going this way, so. I think this is like the wrong time of day. Probably the wrong place completely, but, you know, I gotta try. All right, well, it's, uh, it's only noon, so I figure if I come back around like, I don't know, three or four, um, People will be getting off work, maybe, and they'll be going places. I don't think anyone's really going anywhere right now. Just a couple seconds after recording that last clip, um, I got flagged down by somebody behind me, and I was a little confused at first, um, but then it soon became clear that it was somebody who had just passed me on the on-ramp and then had circled back around. Um, it was actually uh, a whole group of people. I think there was four of them, uh, maybe five even. So they ended up taking me up a ways, uh, including a stop at this beach you're looking at right here. Um, they dropped me off somewhere and I got another ride uh, from there up to Pismo Beach. 
Okie dokie. Well, now I'm here in Pismo Beach, uh, which I don't actually think I want to be in because the highway is over here, but it kind of like doesn't, I don't know, I think the terrain around here is weird and that's why everything's all fucked up. Um, I think I basically want to be there because there's like some fast food and stuff but then I don't know if I can like sleep there yeah I mean I'm really not a beach person but I am kind of kind of getting to like the beaches somewhat now that I'm experiencing a few different kinds of beaches this one's really uh, flat. Flat and shallow, looks like. It's also low tide, I think. These uh, these waves here, are, like perfect for surfing. And there are a few surfers around. I don't know where they went. Oh, there they are. Yeah, there's a couple surfers around. We got the surf, we got the, the shells all over the beach, which is different. Santa Barbara didn't have so many shells. I don't know what that means about Santa Barbara or about Pismo, but there's also some interesting looking dunes over there. I might go check those out later. Just kind of a weird terrain. Yeah. Still not really a beach person, but I can appreciate it. There's some stuff going on here. All right, that's it for this video. That was a very beautiful trip up the coast. Um, only two donations to thank today. Uh, one from our friend Ernest, $300. Once again, thank you very much, Ernest. And the other one is $10 from Michael, with no comment. So thank you, Michael. Thank you, Ernest. Um, yeah, I, uh, so as you saw in this video, I lost my fanny pack, and then, um, actually a few days ago, I lost my backpack. I made a community post about it. Some of you might have seen that. So I've been spending a lot of money lately replacing stuff. Um, so, you know, I don't like directly asking for donations, but if there was ever a time, I think now's the time. I'm stuck in Bakersfield right now, and uh, if I can't get out by hitchhiking, I'm going to have to get out by bus, and that starts to get expensive because then I have to go through LA and stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't like directly asking for donations, but if you got a few bucks and you haven't donated in a while, maybe throw it my way. I could use it right now. Thank you very much.